Head coach John Haskins, pretty solid 73-61 to victory over Francis Marion tonight in the Jones Center. Uh, Talk about the game, 42.6% uh, from the field, including 48% in the second half. you got to be a little pleased. Yeah, I thought we, uh, we attacked offensively. You know, we got the ball in the post. Uh, Slim scored. I uh, thought Kemp attacked and was aggressive offensively. Caitlin made some shots, which was big because she'd been struggling a little bit with her shot. I think she lost a little confidence, and she made some shots for us. So, you know, it seemed like every time they got close, we, we, we were able to execute and, and make a shot when we needed it's so like what Connor and I talked to about outside of the locker room. First 10 minutes, pretty key for you. You, you really exerted your control of the game that yeah, early. Yeah, and they struggled. You know, they struggled offensively, which was big. And, and we rebounded very well the first half. I thought the difference in the second half and what kind of got them back in the game was they had 16 offensive rebounds in the second half. Uh, you know, and, and particularly when Slim got, uh, I think, her third foul and we had to take her out. Uh, we struggled on the boards, but she was fantastic on the boards. I think she had 16 rebounds to go along with 16 points. Uh, and, and then Wayne Mack, uh, who hasn't played in a while because of different injuries, uh, came in. I thought gave us some good minutes. And I also thought uh, Phoenicia Lawson came in uh, and, and gave us some minutes off the bench and did some good things. Yeah, three starters and double figures tonight. 20 points from Jasmine Kim, 9 for 13 from the field, 16 from Caitlin Mitchell. She hit uh, 5 for 11, including four three-pointers. Uh, and then, of course, Slim, a pretty quiet 16 points uh, for you tonight. Did most of her damage at the free throw line. Yeah, well, that's the one. That's the Jasmine Kim we know and love. You know, when she's and I think one of the big things is she just got to be aggressive and confident offensively. And I just told her walk in the locker room after the game. I said, Jets, when when we're not sure and things break down, you 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 need to attack. You need to see to get the ball and go. And and she was she was definitely a go-to person. That's not in her personality. Uh, you almost got to make her do that. But I thought she did a good job doing that tonight. Now talk about the uh, next home game for you on Saturday. Armstrong Atlanta comes into town. Talk about uh, you've already seen them once. What do you have to do to win that game? You know, the, the game down there where they struggled offensively the first half, I think we were up 126-25 or something, and, and they just, just went off and scored at will the second half. Uh, you know, that's kind of an IMO. I mean, uh, we've got to be better in the second half, particularly on the defensive end. The good thing about tonight, we scored consistently for 40, 40 minutes. Uh, but we, we've got to be better defensively. Uh, we gave up, uh, what, 43? What, they have 63 or 61? We gave up 41 in the second half tonight. So uh, I just think coming out and putting 40 minutes of defense together uh, is going to be important against them. And then we've got to continue to be aggressive offensively.